everyone. This week's video topic is all about Dove Charney and American Apparel. Dove Charney is the creator of American Apparel. Uh, the funny thing is he's actually Canadian, so um, that's kind of weird, right? I'm pretty sure we've all seen those really racy um, American Apparel ads. I'm pretty sure you've also heard or seen um, the LA factory um, full of signs and protesters and stuff um, regarding um, legalizing immigration. There's a lot of controversy surrounding American Apparel, especially Dove Charney, the creator who was actually recently um, voted out of the company by the board of directors, which is pretty crazy. A few nights ago, they aired a special, like, a interview report with Dove Charney. Um, I watched it. It was very interesting to watch, um, considering I really love this company. It's not like I shop it all the time, but I really like their aesthetic and I like that their point of view is very clear. I also researched the company a lot in school so I, I really like this company. I mean there are some aspects that are kind of strange to me but other ones that um, I mean show how amazing they are. Let's start with the bad. The company's perception is that they promote very uh, I don't know that they promote promiscuity, I guess. When you look at their ads, they are pretty racy. There's like um, younger girls almost um, naked. People don't really like that. I mean, I don't mind it so much because I see it from a fashion point of view. I don't see it like, oh, Playboy. But people don't like the idea that younger kids are buying the clothes, it's very basic clothes that this company sells, like hoodies and tees and leggings, and they don't want their kid their kids exposed to this. I see it as that's just their brand image. I mean, if they didn't have that, I don't think they'd be able to sell so many basic white t-shirts if they didn't have that shock value or if they didn't bring so much attention to themselves, then they'd just be another basic company. It's just like Calvin Klein jeans or their underwear line. It's kind of, you know, sensual and stuff. And that's, I mean, that's what they're going for. You can't really blame them, you know. They're just trying to create this specific image for themselves. But this image of American Apparel has really um, become negative because of Dove Charney. Dove Charney was ousted from the company that he himself created for sexual misconduct and mismanagement allegations, which is very hurtful, um, especially when it's your own company, you're leading the way um, for a brand that is made in the USA, which is huge. Now there's a new CEO because they basically kicked him out. If you watch the interview, you can see that he is wanting to fight back and try to, you know, gain access to come back to the company once again. I don't know if that's a good idea. I personally think he is, he's a genius. I mean, he created this great company. Obviously, you have to be incredibly smart to do that and have a really clear point of view and be very determined. That being said, I don't know, it seems like he was a little cuckoo while he was managing the company. Um, a lot of um, allegations of sexual harassment were made, so that's, that's not always the best thing, you know. But a lot of people do really love him, especially the employees that work beneath him. They really like him because he was fighting for immigration reform and so he was really on their side. And those employees were actually making really great money. Um, they were making about $15 an hour or something like that, which is obviously much higher than the minimum wage. A lot of these employees are trying to help him fight back to get him back into the company because 
Um, some of them say that their hours have been cut, um, they don't have as much work, they're not making as much money. But in the interview it stated that even though um, these employees in this particular side of the workplace, um, this um, their work environment was very positive, they loved the CEO, they were so on board with his vision. Um, the people that worked alongside Dove Charney were not so much convinced with him. They um, did not agree with his point of view, with the way he acted, um, which honestly does seem very inappropriate. Right now, he's, like I said, he's trying to come back to the company to try to um, rebuild, to keep moving forward with this huge brand and their image. I think that this company does have a future. I love the fact that it's all made in the USA. That's a huge advantage for any fashion company. But I think that if Dove Charney were to come back, it wouldn't be such a good idea. I think people would be put off by that. I think now that the company is under kind of new leadership, I think the image will change. And that's not so much a bad thing, I think it's just going to stagger their growth and stagger their success in the future because I think American Apparel is synonymous with shocking and um, weird, I guess. And to be honest, I noticed that their prices have increased a little bit. I mean, I have a skirt from them that I bought for 50 bucks, and I saw it the other day and it's like, I don't know, 30% more expensive. So I have a feeling that even though it's American apparel, eventually production is going to go overseas or something, which is not the best thing, but I think we will definitely see changes. Who knows where Dove Charney is going to go, um, maybe he will create a new brand altogether. I think it'd be great if he did like Canadian apparel, like maybe he should give that a shot, but um, who knows? Thanks so much for watching you guys. Just to mention, I also posted a video on Facebook earlier last week um, asking you guys to send me questions. Um, I'm doing a question answer video later in the week and I will be sure to answer as many questions as possible, so be sure to send those in. Um, they can be questions about me, about my school, about any of the topics I've talked about, or stuff I've never talked about before. Just send them in and um, I will be sure to answer them. Have a great week, you guys. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.